Maranatha, page 204. The Purification of the Church, July 15th. And he shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Malachi 3, verse 3. The time is upon us when the miracle-working power of the arch-deceiver will be more decidedly revealed, and his deceptions will increase in their delusive attraction, so that they will perplex and, if possible, deceive the very elect. The prince of darkness with his evil angels is working upon the Christian world, inducing those who profess the name of Christ to stand under the banner of darkness, to make war with those who keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. An apostate church will unite with the powers of earth and hell to place upon the forehead or in the hand the mark of the beast and prevail upon the children of God to worship the beast and his image. They will seek to compel them to renounce their allegiance to God's law and yield homage to the papacy. Then will come the times which will try men's souls for the confederacy of apostasy will demand that the loyal subjects of God shall renounce the law of Jehovah and repudiate the truth of his word. Then will the gold be separated from the dross, and it will be made apparent who are the godly, who are the loyal and true, and who are the disloyal, the dross and the tinsel. What clouds of chaff will then be borne away by the fan of God, where now our eyes can discover only rich floors of wheat, will the chaff blown away with the fan of God. Everyone who is not centered in Christ will fail to stand the test and ordeal of that day, while those who are clothed with Christ's righteousness will stand firm to truth and duty. Those who have trusted in their own righteousness will be ranged under the black banner of the Prince of Darkness. Then it will be seen whether the choice is for Christ or Belial. Those who have been self-distrustful, who have been so circumstanced that they have not dared to face stigma and reproach, will at last openly declare themselves for Christ and His law. While many who have appeared to be flourishing trees, but who have borne no fruit, will go with the multitude to do evil, and will receive the mark of apostasy in the forehead or in the hand. This has been your daily devotional with Sister Tanya Nuges. Maranatha, Jesus is coming again. Get ready, get ready, get ready.